our beautiful historic bridge is all but gone. But we can look forward, at some point, to a new one. Monday morning saw the team from Priestley gathered around the last of the uprights on the west side. Discussions were clearly taking place about how best to remove it and avoid insects. It would prove to be a day blessed with many visitors, some suggesting government representation. Others, like these electricians, engaged on a more practical level. The priestly team, working beside elements of the bridge structure previously removed, quickly turned to cutting. There would be a lot of that in the next couple of days. As a compressor was ready, the north side upright surrendered. All the while, a surveyor was busy on the edge of the roadway. With the projecting arm severed, it was time to address the foundations, even as the arm on the southern upright surrendered. Whilst the work on the west side continued, a float truck from Western Mechanical arrived on the east. The tractor quickly pulled away, and it became clear that Western's forklift was to leave, but not without some topping up. After picking up some ancillary items, she was ready to load. Loading such heavy equipment is done with particular care. Precise positioning contributes critically to safety. It would not take long to connect the tractor and depart. Meanwhile, many visitors had migrated to the east side where discussions took place while survey work continued. On Tuesday, with the uprights largely gone and the foundations being addressed, attention turned to the trunnions. and to digging out the uprights. It was particularly interesting to see two representatives of the HAL Group, a company specialising in bridge engineering, testing and repair, on scene. They appeared to show particular interest in the concrete surfaces, including testing them. By day's end, dedicated bridge operators who had faithfully served could only look sadly over the remains of their bridge. By Wednesday, work is winding up and tidying up has begun. But the last trunnion remains to be removed. Of course, it too will surrender to the torch. By afternoon, only its support remains. And it is under intense attack. Soon, only scars will bear testament to a century of service. There's undoubtedly much more of this story to come, including a temporary bridge and eventually a permanent replacement. So if you want to see what happens, please stay with this channel. Thanks for watching.